So this is about two minutes later. You just got to keep on swirling it around in the water and just gently massaging the dirt out of the roots. But just a little tip and trick. It's okay to have a little bit of dirt out, left in it. The more dirt you have left in it, though, the more chance of the roots um, rotting. So it's okay if you get, you know, or have about 5% left. You want to get about 95% out. So this is a good enough start for us. So let's go ahead and put it inside the root plug slash clone plug. So you're gonna go ahead and open the package that comes with your exo tower. You're gonna split it in half like that. So where it's just like an open book and you're gonna wanna place the plant about a quarter, the stem about a quarter of an inch into the root plug. So it has more stability and it's okay if the roots don't fit perfectly in there. And it's okay if your plug also splits in half. As long as it's encompassed, your roots are encompassed in the plug, you're all good. So we're going to want to grab a net cup that also comes with the exo tower kit. You're going to go ahead and put the plant inside of that. And you're going to want to pinch it. So give it some, have some tension on the plant. Because if you just let it go, it's going to be all wobbly around. And this is when you want to add in your hydro clay. So you're going to have it squished in there. And you're gonna go ahead and grab some of your hydro clay and you can just dump it in there but also you want to shove it down because like i said you want to keep tension between the plants so it has stability push it down like that and bam there you go you have a plant that fits perfectly inside your exo tower and after a while you'll see how the roots start coming out of the plug it will get a lot more stable but for right now the reason when you, you want to have so much tension is so the plant is not fl flopping over 